Regular people, regular shit. Check us out before you buy it. Hello, and welcome to our regular review of the Rubbermaid Animal Stopper Garbage Can. That's right, folks. You asked for it on Twitter, you messaged us on Facebook, you shot us emails, you called us on the flippin' hotline, we're reviewing <laughs> our goddamn garbage can. Oh, yeah! Why do you keep doing jazz again? I don't know. Bringing it down a notch, we moved out of our apartment and into our house about six-ish months ago. And with that, we lost the greatest convenience I've ever known. Being able to throw all of my shit into a big metal bin and not worry about it. Yeah. Anytime you wanted. Doesn't matter. Now we have to take out garbage like responsible adults. It's the worst. Our first week into the new apartment, we missed garbage day altogether. That sucked. So week two, we got our shit together. Problem was... We put everything on the curb overnight, just like all of our other neighbors did. And the local neighborhood bear, I'm pretty sure, got a hold of the garbage bag and there were just bacon packs strewn across the street. <laughs> the next week we went out and we bought the most serious looking garbage can that $32.99 plus tax can buy. It's so serious. Does it work as advertised? Oh, sure it does, don't you know? So the base is thick enough to keep critters out and the lid has held up for the most part so far. Look at this thing. Oh god. There's buckles. It smells like garbage now. It's got these doohickeys. It seriously smells like garbage in here. Enough of that. And they've clearly tried. There are some serious gnaw marks on this thing. And there's even a hole in the top. So like somebody really wanted to get in here. Is it easy to use? It's a bit of a hassle, but it sure beats running down the street on a rainy September afternoon trying to pick up your garbage. So the garbage can itself is... Pretty big, a um, little bit hefty, unwieldy when it's full of crap. The worst part about it is that it doesn't have wheels. It's not a big deal for us because we leave our garbage can on the porch, but if you're wheeling it around from behind the house, you're not wheeling it anywhere, no wheels. Onto the lid, the locking handles are great, but the rubber hooks get really stiff on a cold winter morning. We're Canadian though, so really cold to us might be, oh, what the fuck, to you. So is this thing a reasonable price? I wasn't super excited to spend 35 bucks plus on a thing that holds the things I'm throwing away. But if it means I don't have to clean my crap up off the street once a week, money well spent. I'm pretty confident that we'll have this for a few years, so I think the price is justified. Is this necessary though? If you have furry little menaces running around your neighborhood, and you most likely do, then yes, this is necessary. In fact, this garbage can is so good that yeah. within two or three weeks of us getting it, we noticed them popping up all over the neighborhood. People took notice. We started that. Very uncool trend. Overall, we're giving the Rubbermaid Animal Stopper garbage can four pieces of trash out of five. We're knocking off the last piece of trash because of the price, doesn't have wheels. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but worthwhile, we think. It's a solid garbage can and gets the job done. You're welcome, curbs everywhere. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. New videos oh every week. Oh no. We are not doing that. <laughs> that was an excellent impression. Hashtag bro science. And scene.